could also click on skip right so we don't have the skip option before but now we can now decide to skip this google account sign in screen so from here i'm going to click on skip now and then you click on skip again all right so you just formatted your android phone and then during the setting up of the phone you are stuck at this screen that you need to verify your google account credential but what if you have forgotten your google account credential right so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to bypass the frp of an android phone the factory reset password so i've made a couple of videos on how to add reset phones and format several android devices and on the comment section i've got some couple of comments asking me to create this kind of video on how to bypass a google account credential during phone setup all right so in this video i'll be sharing with you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to get rid of this google account verification and you'll be able to set up your phone and to use your phone again right so guys before we get started guys this video is strictly for educational purpose don't misuse the information that i'll be sharing with you guys in this video all right so if you find the video very interesting i would like you to subscribe to this channel if today is your first time and also give the video a like button and then drop down a comment in the comment section let me know your feedback about this tutorial all right so with that being said let's get started guys Alright guys, so from this screen, all you have to do here is just to select your preferred language and then you click on start. So from here, you select your region and then you click on next. Here, you want to click on agree. Here, you don't want to copy, so don't copy. All right, guys, so here we have two means of verification. It's either you use your Google account or you draw in your pattern that you're using to unlock your phone before you had reset the phone. All right, so guys, as you can see, when I try to draw in a random wrong pattern, it's not working. As you can see here, wrong pattern drawn. All right, so if I draw in a wrong pattern, as you can see here, wrong pattern. All right, so when you get to this screen, all you have to do here is just to go back right so go back guys make sure you follow every instruction and everything that i'm showing you in this video and then you scroll down to add new network right so add new network and then you're going to see this little microphone icon the right hand side of the screen so all you have to do here just to click on that click on it once and then you see a screen like this click on deny and then you click on it one more time click on it again guys and then you click on deny and don't ask again and then you click on it one more time all right so at this point you're going to get a message like this click on allow so this is going to bring you to uh, this screen so from here basically what you want to do here now is just to click on permission and then you click on search click on this search right here so from here you want to search for screen pinning search for screen pinning on this page Right, so this is it here so we want to click on it so click on this now and then you toggle the option on and then you toggle this option on all right so from here guys this is the stage where we have to put in the pattern that we're going to be using to verify that this phone actually belongs to you right so what you want to do here now just to select the option you can go with fingerprint plus pattern fingerprint plus pin fingerprint plus password or you continue with fingerprint so you want to select on the first option which is fingerprint plus pattern so select on it and then you create a verifying pattern so any pattern we create here is actually the pattern that we're going to be using to verify this phone right so i'm going to choose this pattern right now so i will go with this so after that you click on next and then you draw the same pattern again and then you click on continue and we are done guys so this is pretty much very easy all right so from this stage what you want to do here just to click on cancel then you go back you go back you go back close this close this close this then close this and then you click on this and then you wait so from here you want to click on don't copy 
all right guys so here you just have to impute that pattern that you, you drew right so you just want to impute that pattern so this is the pattern here guys as you can see here guys we have successfully bypassed this screen so from here we don't need to verify by any google account so what we want to do here now is just to click on skip right so we don't have the skip option before but now we can now decide to skip this google account sign in screen so from here i want to click on skip now and then you click on skip again and then from here you want to click on skip again so we'll click continue All right, so as you can see here, congratulations, your phone is ready, so use now. All right, guys, so this is a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to bypass FRP of an Android phone. So if you find the video very interesting, guys, I would like you to give this video a thumbs up down and subscribe to our YouTube channel if today is actually your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, all right? So with that being said, guys, see you guys in the very next one. Bye for now.